part three of trying to get this messed up cabinet to work. So I ordered some sockets on DigiKey. So I desoldered the RAM and I soldered in the sockets. The reason why I just socketed them instead of getting new chips is because if those chips eventually die, then we can replace them easier than having to desolder them again. I doubt this will make a difference in whether it works or not, but in the next video I'll show you how I can use this to troubleshoot. So stay tuned for part 4, coming sometime in a few days.